my name is Autumn and this is another aquatic dry land workout. Today we're going to be doing shoulder work, leg work, and core. Uh, we're going to start with a warm up and then we'll move on to the workout. Alright, so for our first warm up we are going to start with jump jacks. I want 20 of these. Again, if you're having trouble with this, having your knees, alternate jack. Just bring that one leg out at a time, each keeping that arm. Alright, we got 10 more. Two, one, all right, tap it out. All right, we're gonna move to butt kickers. We're going in three, two, one. Bringing that knee up, just touching, trying to get that heel to your butt, like so. Again, hurt your knees, nice, want soft landing. March it out, touching that butt. Good, all right, we got 10 more. Five, four, Three, two, one, good, tap it out. All right, we're gonna do little arm circles here, going forward. Got a nice strong core here, a little bend in that knee. Good, bring them bigger. Kind of getting that butterfly arm. Good, all right, bring them opposite way. Good, big. Good, all right, bring that across. Giving yourself a little hug. Good, now bring it to the back. Stretch that all the way out. Good, all right, so that is our warm up. If you wanna warm up a little bit more, feel free, but let's get started on that workout. All right, everyone, so how we're gonna start this shoulder work today is we are going to do 30 seconds of work, a 10 second rest in between, and you can either do this round one time, two times, or three times once we get to that end of that workout. So we're gonna start with, if you don't have weights, feel free to grab anything you do have. Dry pasta sauce is great, or just even using resistance with that, with no weights. Again, really working on pulling through, kind of just like you were pushing through that water. All right, so for our first push, our first exercise, we are gonna start with diamond push-ups. So you wanna make your hand in that diamond symbol, again, like so, and you can do this up against the wall, um, either on your knees or straight legs. I'm gonna do them on my knees, and making sure when you're doing push-ups on your knees, you're getting in that meaty part of that knee and not right on that knee cap. So you're gonna start with diamond push-ups. Again, really nice and controlled. Next exercise, you're gonna grab whatever weights you have and do overhead press. Again, nice 90 degree angle there. Press it up top and bring it back down. You can touch that top of that push, but again, nothing too hard. Great. Then we are going to do tricep pull. So just kind of like you were pushing, pulling off in that water, making sure pushing through just like that. Again, you can do this with or without weights. Last thing, again, with or without weights, small arm circles. I'll tell you when it's halfway, we're gonna start going forward, and at halfway, we're gonna get to the back. All right, let me get my timer all set up, get you all set up too, and we'll get going in a couple seconds. All right, we got that diamond press push-ups. We're going in three, two, one, press it down. And again, these don't have to be fast, nice and controlled. You wanna make sure that core is engaged the whole time. Really working that full range of motion here. Again, anytime you take a break, feel free, hop back in when you can. We are done in five, four, three, two, last one. All right, shake it out, grab those weights. We're doing overhead press. Five, four, three, two, one, press it up. Again, always, always, always strong core. We'll bend in that knee, making sure you're all in one nice straight line. Pressing it up, getting to that 90 degree angle. 
15, halfway. Keep breathing. Five, four, three, two, last one. All right, shake it out. Again, you can do with or without weights with that pull, tricep pull here. We're going in three, two, one, pull back. Again, nice little bend and hinge over in that hip, strong core, bend it through. Again, this is really about power here, feeling that strength. You got 10. Five, four, three, two, last one. All right, we've got those arm circles. We're going in five, four, three, two, one. Got nice small little motions. It's gonna be a little bit more difficult than when you do a big arm circle. I'll tell you when to switch halfway. We're switching in three, two, one. Other direction. One. All right. Great job. Grab some water. Take a rest. Minute rest in between these sets. We're going to move on to legs. All right. So I brought you down to my mat. Since all of our leg and lower body work is going to be on the mat, uh, we're going to really work on opening up our hips here. Again, something that's very important, as you guys all know, as we're swimming through the pool. So for our same thing as our arm round, we're going to be doing 30 seconds of work. 10 seconds rest. We're gonna do right leg and then left leg on each side for each of these movements. So the first movement is a donkey kick. Again, nice strong core up in that tabletop position, pressing up. Again, we're gonna start with right leg, almost like you're stamping that ceiling, bring it in and out. We'll go right leg, then we'll do left leg. Then our next exercise is uh, toe taps. So you're going to bring that leg out at a like 45 degree angle, big circle arch over and bring it back in. So tapping it from one corner of the next. Go right side, move it to left. All right, let's get ready to go. All right, let's go in five, four, Three, two, one, donkey kick. Again, you're putting that resistance on that leg as we're trying to stamp that ceiling here. Halfway. Five, four, Three, two, last one. All right, shake it out. We're gonna do other side. We're going in five, four, three, two, one. Other side. Great job. We are halfway. Five, four, three, two, last one. All right, shake it out. We've got those toe taps. We're going in five, four, three, two, one. Again, right side. Touching that from corner to corner. If you were kind of on a box, you're going from one side to the next. Again, the bigger the arch here, the more hip opening you have, and you can always bring it down a little less of an arch. Five, four, three, two, last one. Good, all right, left side. Five, four, three, two, 
One. Great job, we're going to move on to core. Alright, time for core. So again, we are going to do 30 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest, like we've done for all the other workouts. So we're going to start with a flutter kick. Again, bringing those, getting down to your mat, bringing those legs so you can either get your arms in a little crunch up, or you can put those hands right under your butt for a little bit more support in that lower back. And we're going to flutter kick. That's our first one. Then we're gonna crisscross. Bring that right, switch it top and back. Again, always holding that crunch up as you're doing it. Then we've just got a normal crunch. Legs up, bringing it up. Again, you can have your hands wherever you like, behind that neck, across the chest, or if you want, up in that streamline. Again, making sure you're getting that shoulder blades off that floor. Then, last thing, butterfly crunch. Get those legs out into a butterfly uh, position. Bring those arms behind the back and crunching up. All right, let's get ready to go in five, four, three, two, one. One flutter kick. And again, all the way during the core, we're breathing. We're working through it. Again, if you need to pop out, just hold that six inch leg hold and get right back into it when you can. We are done in 10, 9, three, two, one. All right, we got that crisscross. Three, two, one. Bring it up and over. Great job. Again, we're breathing through this core, really trying to make sure that our shoulder blades are off the mat here as we're doing it. We're halfway. We got 10 seconds. Three, two, last one. All right, butterfly crunch. Three, two, one, crunch it up. All we got for today, stick around, we're going to cool it down. All right, great workout, let's cool it down. So we're going to start just by tapping it out, trying to lower that heart rate. Going to bring that right arm across. 
Good, other side. Bring in that arm up for that tricep hold. Still tapping it out, just nice and calm. Switch sides. Good, all right, we're gonna bend that left leg, straighten that right, flex that toe, bend forward, get that hamstring. And other leg. All right, bring up that leg in a nice quad stretch here. Again, put where your hand needs to be to help you balance. And other leg. Don't hit your couch. Good, all right, one big breath in. And shake it out. Bring it up nice and slow. Bring those arms forward. Give yourself a nice little hug. And bring them right behind you, right behind that back, little back bend, open up that chest. Thank you guys so much. That's all I got for you today. Thanks for working out with me. We'll see you soon. Go Bearcats.